Time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Thursday, June the 20th, 2024. Brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Memorial service for Mart Long 74 of Mule Shoe. It's set for 2 o'clock Monday afternoon, July the 1st at the First Baptist Church here in Muleshoe with Dr. Stacey Connor officiating. Mart died Saturday, June the 15th here in Muleshoe. He was born August 3rd, 1949 in Amherst to Homer O. and Nettie Hairgrove Long. Mart loved music and was, a very, was very gifted. He was an excellent guitar player. He liked cooking, barbecue, and competing. Competing all around. Mart also enjoyed traveling to eat the best barbecue he could find. He had a passion for animals and motorcycles. He was a friend to all who knew him and was loved by teachers and students alike. Mart was an avid Mule Shoe Mule football fan and he coached Little League Baseball. One of the fields at Roger Miller Park was named Marty's Field after his son. Mart loved his family regardless of them being Cowboys fans. He has Proceeded in death by his son, Marty Long, a daughter, Devin Long, his parents, and a sister, Agnes Smith. Marty survived by a brother, Homer Butch Long, several nieces, nephews, and cousins. The family suggests memorials be sent to the Muleshoe Mills on Wheels program, 300 South 1st Street, Suite 110, Muleshoe, Texas, 79347, or the Most Scholarship Fund, P.O. Box 1035, Canyon, Texas, 79015. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. And Mart will be missed for sure. Of course, he was a long, long time custodian at, I believe it was DeShazo Elementary, and where he was loved. He was always there to help out, and such a good guy. Uh, please keep Mart Long's family on your prayer list today. Repeating memorial service for Mart Long, 74, a meal shoe, is set for 2 o'clock on the afternoon of Monday, July 1st, at the First Baptist Church here in Muleshoe with Dr. Stacey Connor officiating. Mart died uh, Saturday, June the 15th here in Muleshoe. Again, keep the Long family on your prayer list today. Well, our last meal train, we had the uh, arrangements, the graveside service for John uh, Young, but now I have the full obit for him. John Robert Young, 85 of Muleshoe, passed away on Tuesday, June the 4th in Vernon, Texas. John was born Wednesday, September 21st, 1938 in Clovis to the late Winifred Riley Young and Johnny L. Merle Young. He graduated from Muleshoe High School in the class of 1957. While there, he won the Golden Glove Championship of New Mexico. He attended Eastern New Mexico State University from 1957 to 1958. He married Marilyn Phillips on June the 19th, 1976 in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma. He was a passionate farmer, and he started helping on the family farm at the age of six after the loss of his parents. As a young adult, he took over the farm and helped raise his younger brother, Jim. John is survived by his wife, Marilyn, of the home, his sister, Sue Rogers of Lubbock, and sister-in-law, Terry Young of Muleshoe. He is survived by his children, Robbie Young and wife, Kathy of Chillicothe. Lori DeJong and husband Maxim of Chilliwack, British Columbia, Denise Young and Terrence Collier of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Russell Young and wife Lindsay of Quanah, Texas. He has 10 surviving grandchildren, including John Robert Young III and wife Heather, Caitlin Gugusberg and husband Josh, Dustin DeJong and Sigourney and Nemo DeJong, Hilaire Schneck and husband Matthew Alexander Hall. John T. Young and wife Jordan, Kara Young and Jeffrey Young. He is also survived by four great-grandchildren, Caleb Piper and Sutton Snicky and Laney Young. He is survived by four nieces and nephews, Vanessa and Amy Rogers and Greg and Chris Young, his wife Allison. John was engaged in many agriculture projects throughout his life, including collaboration with John Deere, which advanced farming innovation and technological advancements he owned and operated Barry and Young case equipment. This partnership included the ownership of a plane, so he became a pilot. In the 1990s, he was a member of the One Ton Club, 
While more common now due to recent technological advancements, at the time it was a rare accomplishment to achieve. This was awarded to him by Fibermax Corporation. He was also named Farmer of the Year in Muleshoe. John loved the land and was very protective of it, maintaining a good stewardship of it. He started a bird conservatory with a portion of his land. He was proud of his family legacy and worked his entire life to maintain and grow it. John is preceded in death by his parents, Winifred Riley and Johnny Young, his brother Jim Young. Visitation was held at Sullivan Funeral Home in uh, in the Vernon area. And graveside services were held Saturday, June the ninth, as we mentioned uh, earlier in our last meal train at the Big Valley Cemetery in Chillicothe, Texas, um, with Mr. Sam Feagley officiating under the direction of Sullivan Funeral Homes. Memorials can ma- can be made to the Big Valley Cemetery, eighteen. 18- or 1383 Farm to Market 3295 Quanta, Texas 79252. Please keep the family of John Young on your prayer list today. He was 85 of Muleshoe, and he died on June the 4th uh, in Vernon. Well, it is time now for the weather forecast, and we have had a decent May or June so far. Excuse me. I'm a month behind. It's here at the National Weather Service Station in our backyard at Channel 6. During June so far through the 20th, we have 3 inches and 69 one hundredths for the month of June. The Muleshoe Mesonet Station for the month has two inches and 81 one hundredths. That's two miles south of town. And then the Earth Mesonet right next to Tolt Plant has two inches and 79 one hundredths in rain. Uh, And so far here at the house, the rain this month came like this. On June 1st, we got a tenth of an inch. June 7th, a fourth of an inch or excuse me, a quarter of an inch, June 10th and 11th was the big days. We got a total between those two days, a Sunday and a Monday. We got three inches right here at Channel 6. June 15th, we got another three tenths. And then yesterday morning, Wednesday, June uh, the 19th, we got three one hundredths of an inch. So that is where our rain has come so far through the month of June. On the year 2024, the Milshi Mesonet station has 6 inches and 93 one hundredths. The Earth Mesonet right next to Tolk Plant is sitting right at 7 inches of rain. The Morton Mesonet has 8 inches and 42 one hundredths. And the Friona Mesonet has 7 inches and 7 one hundredths. It has uh, started to heat up earlier in the week. We got really, really hot and uncomfortable, but we've uh, cooled down as a as a system has moved through, provided lots of cloud cover and much cooler temperatures. Our high yesterday on Wednesday was only 80 here at Channel 6. Our average high through the month of um, June through the 20th has been 91 degrees, and our average low has been 64, and we do have some rain in the forecast for today, especially for the Muleshoe area. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms today, mainly in the afternoon hours beginning after 1 p.m., mostly cloudy otherwise with a high near 79 degrees. Southeast winds around 15 miles per hour. Then tonight, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly after 1 a.m., mostly cloudy, low around 65. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour Friday, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly sunny, high near 84 south winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour, then partly cloudy Friday night, low around 64 south winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Saturday, sunny, high near 91 south southwest winds, 10 to 15 miles per hour Saturday night, partly cloudy, low around 65 south winds around 10 miles per hour Sunday. Sunny, high near 95, southwest winds 5 to uh, 10 miles per hour. Then Sunday night, partly cloudy, low around 67, south winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday, next week, sunny, high near 96 degrees, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, mostly clear, low around 69. Tuesday, sunny and hot, high near 99 degrees. 
Tuesday night, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly cloudy, lower around 70. Then next week on Wednesday, another 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly sunny, hot, high near 99 again. And that's our weather forecast. And again, a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms beginning this Thursday afternoon, June 20th. And a high near 79, then a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly after 1 a.m. tonight, mostly cloudy, low around 65, then another 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow on Friday, high near 84. Rain chances a drop off and our temps begin to heat up as we get through the end of the uh Weekend and into next week as we'll top out somewhere around 99, 100 degrees on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then slight rain chances enter the forecast beginning Tuesday night again. Well, we lost our uh, sponsor for our weather again. So if you, your uh, organization, a business, a church would like to sponsor our weather f- forecast, please Call me on my cell phone, 806-566-5881. And again, here at the National Weather Service Station at Channel 6, so far through the month of June through the 20th, we have three inches and 69 one hundredths of rain. And we are so appreciative for every drop of that, but still keep rain on your prayer list today. Well, this edition of the weather of the uh, uh, Mule Train News is brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. And don't forget, Leal's is back open on Sundays, 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. at the original Leal's 1010 West American Boulevard. They're so happy to be back open on Sundays. And that's such a routine for many people. When you get out of church, you go eat at Leal's, and they're open again on Sundays now, 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. at 1010 West American Boulevard. The original Leal's right here in Mule Shoot. and don't forget, also, they're trying something else new, nothing in the fridge. They deliver at Leal's of Mule Shoot. Call 806-272-3294 right to your home or business in the Mule Shoot area. Again, they deliver at Leal's of Mule Shoot, 806 272 Three two nine four. Well, there is a ton of things to watch free of charge on demand on our website, muleshoetv.com. We have a whole paragraph with links of all the things we filmed during the end of the school year, including the Dillman uh, Elementary Pre-K and Kindergarten Graduation. First and second grade awards at Dillman, DeShazo Elementary Awards, Mulesu High School Awards Program, including the naming of the valedictory of, uh, of the class of 2024, Brenda Butler, and the salutatorium, Jeremiah Watts, the Mulesu Area Hospital District Informational Meeting that was held at the uh, training facility on Main Street, the MHS Class of 2024, uh, walking hand-in-hand hand with the class of 2036, the kindergartners at Dillman. That's a sweet little video. The Muleshoe City Council meeting from May and June, available both on, on our front page. The MHS prom that was held at the Bailey County Coliseum. The 2024 MHS Athletic Banquet and the Muleshoe High School Fine Arts Fiesta. The... MHS graduation ceremony that was held on May 18th, live stream from Benny Douglas Football Stadium in the MISD Teacher of the Year Awards and all the retirement and service awards that was presented on May the 23rd. Also, in addition, uh, uh, the Memorial Day program that was sponsored by the Bailey County uh, Cemetery Association and uh, Dr. Stacey Connor spoke and gave an inspirational Memorial Day message out at the old uh, Bailey County Cemetery. Also, we filmed the Youth Fishing Day, a lot of the kids out fishing with their families, and then the awards program that was held there on June 1st at uh, Lake Milshu. Also, last week we filmed Matthew Alicon speaking to the Bailey County Senior Citizen Center during their lunch hour. If you don't forget, uh, if you haven't forgotten, Matthew was in high school several years ago when he was diagnosed with a brain tumor. 
during his sophomore year, I believe he said, and he uh, has struggled and overcome. He is now about to graduate with a bachelor's degree from Wayland Baptist University. So uh, see Matthew Alicon speaking to the senior center there uh, on June the 12th at the Bailey County Senior Center, Main and Avenue D. All of that available free of charge on demand on our website. Of course, you can see all of our graduation sponsors still rotating on your screen here on our Mule Train News Program. Texas Health Steps keeps your child healthy. Keep your little cowboy or cowgirl healthy. If you have Medicaid insurance, call the Medical Clinic of Mule Shield at 806-272-7544 to schedule your child's free medical checkup now through the Medical Clinic of Mule Shield available through the Mule Shield Area Medical Center. Texas Health Steps is a health care for children through age 20 who have Medicaid and gives your child free medical checkups starting at birth. Checkups can help find Uh, health problems before they get worse and harder to treat. Again, call the Medical Clinic of Mule Shoe, 806-272-7544 to schedule your child's free medical checkup through Medicaid and the Texas Health Steps program at the Mule Shoe Area Medical Center. Well, they have lots going on at the Senior Center, Main and Avenue D., Don't forget their big 4th of July barbecue uh, fundraising meal at the Bailey County Senior Center, 319 Main Street on Thursday, July the 4th. They'll be serving from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's $12 per plate, pulled pork, potato salad, beans, and a dessert. That's the 4th of July barbecue uh, me, uh, meal at the Bailey County Senior Center Thursday, July 4th, 11 a.m. till 2 p.m., $12 per plate at Main and Avenue D. Pulled pork, potato salad, beans, and a dessert. Come and eat with them on the 4th of July. That's a great place as well to see the parade that begins at 10 a.m. that morning. The Mule Shoe Pickers will be performing at the Senior Center during their noon meal tomorrow on Friday, June the 21st. So make sure to come out and see the Mule Shoe Pickers at the Senior Center around 11 a.m. They'll start for lunch at the Senior Center. They are serving tomorrow on June 21st during the Mule Shoe Pickers. Fish or chicken strips, borracho beans, green peas, tossed vegetable salad, low-cal French dressing, whole wheat roll, and a tropical fruit mix. Then next week on Monday, June 24th, barbecue chicken, roasted ranch potatoes, summer squash, tossed vegetable salad, whole wheat roll, low-cal French dressing, and a peach cobbler. Tuesday, June 20, uh, 25th, meatloaf, scallop potatoes, green beans, cucumber and tomato salad, tossed vegetable salad, low-cal French dressing, sliced whole wheat bread, Sliced bananas and orange juice. Then Wednesday, June 26th, they'll be serving their chicken fried steak as usual. Mashed potatoes, country gravy, stewed okra, seasoned corn, and a pumpkin square. On Thursday, June 27th, cheeseburger with bun, potato wedges, uh, tomato wedge salad, and a melon medley. Then next week on Friday again, they serve their uh, June 28th, their fish or chicken strips, borracho beans, green peas, tossed vegetable salad, low-cal French dressing, whole wheat roll, and a tropical fruit mix. Well, Thursday, July the 4th, uh, Independence Day is two weeks from today. Can you believe it? Uh, so the summer is already uh, speeding by quickly, and we've just got through the summer uh, solstice. Uh, at 10 a.m., the parade will begin down Main Street, uh, Muleshoe. Then at 11 a.m., all of the activities around the courthouse grounds will begin At 11.45 a.m., the MHS and Watson Junior High cheerleaders will perform. At noon, the cornhole tournament will begin. 
Also at noon, the Little Miss and Mr. Firecracker pageant begins at 1 p.m. A watermelon eating contest, 1.30. All the kids' contests start there at the courthouse with the frog and turtle races, potato sack races, and musical chairs. Don't forget, lots of food trucks and other vendors all gathered around the courthouse square on the 4th of July. And then, of course, the fireworks will begin at dark in the new city park that's all going on on the 4th of july right here in muleshoe texas well we gave this a couple months ago when we first got it but thought i would repeat it again as the summer uh, continues on we have the 2024 muleshoe mules football schedule and the uh, regularly scheduled season will begin on August the 30th at, on, uh, at Brownfield. All these games kick off at 7 p.m. Then on September the 6th, uh, the Mules will be at home at David Woodfield at Benny Douglas Stadium versus La Mesa. Then on the road again on September the 13th at New Home. Then uh, the big away game will be September 20th at Canadian. That will be a huge game. September the 27th, we will play Clyde here at Benny Douglas Football Stadium. And then again at home versus Dalhart on October the 4th. October the 11th, we'll be playing at Lubbock Roosevelt. And then October the 18th at home versus Littlefield. October the 25th. At Slayton, and then November the 1st, we will have an open date right before the last game of the season where it will be at home versus Idaloo on November the 8th. That is the 2024 Muleshoe Mules football schedule. Well, Wanda and Kent Wiley are celebrating 60 years uh uh, anniversary uh, their wedding anniversary on saturday june the 22nd you're invited to the first baptist church here in milshu a come and go reception from 2 until 4 p.m i'm sure it's there in the fellowship hall so congratulations to kent and wanda wiley on their 60th wedding anniversary you're invited to the reception celebrating that for on saturday june 22nd at the First Baptist Church Fellowship Hall here in Muleshoe. Come and go reception from 2 until 4 p.m. A big congratulations goes out to Kent and Wanda Wiley for 60 years uh, a wedding anniversary. Well, the Muleshoe Water Park, of course, in the northwest corner of the new city park, is now open for the season. They're closed every Monday, but then Tuesday through thursday they're open from 1 until 6 p.m and then friday they're open 1 until 7 p.m friday night is teen night at the muleshoe water park 7 30 until 9 p.m then saturdays they're open 1 until 8 p.m and sunday back to 1 until 6 p.m again close every monday that's at the muleshoe water park in the northwest corner of the new city park on your prayer list today please remember paul hammer and rich magby eddie morris lonnie spratlin gary shipman needs to be on your prayer list dick chitwood and max king robert johnson suzanne nichols rowena myers sammy gonzalez cliff black tyrone clements olivia barrera wanda schaefer terry byers gabby stone tina costillo Berta and Larry Combs, Ed and Carol Cox, uh, Dorothy Wire, and Dr. Wire. Please keep Tom and Linda Watson on your prayer list today. Melba King, Betty Noble, uh, Joe Jinks, formerly Emil Shu, Albert Lee, Terry Obenhouse, Bill Lyles needs to be on your prayer list today. Remember the family of those. Re- uh, grieving the recent loss of a loved one, including the family of Kim Crane, the family of Mark Long, the family of Veronica Gonzalez, the family of John Young, the family of Sherry Basir Harrison, the family of Beverly Hall, 
along with the family of Salima Pez Martinez. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by Liao's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our Mule Train programs free of charge on demand on our website, muleshoetv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. This is Tumbleweed Smith, the story of Cat Squirrel Stew. In a moment, on The Sound of Texas. The Sound of Texas is brought to you here on MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They're celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They're owned by the members that they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at BCEC. COOP.com, the board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope you enjoy this Sound of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Bob Jameson spent 50 years as a banker in Dayton. He enjoys the outdoors, hunting and fishing. When he was growing up, he went to the picture show on Saturdays. Next door to the theater was an eating place. There was a nine-stool cafe that Dave Jackson ran. And Dave had the uh, urge to go hunting every year with the group, and they camped out and pitched a tent in those days and put hay on the ground, and, uh, and that's how they slept. And each brought something to eat and drink. When they got there, they had to go back to town because there was one loaf of bread and four bottles of whiskey. So Dave had this uh, cafe, and we all went to the shoot 'em up picture show in, uh, in Saturday, so he couldn't go until 6 o'clock that evening. And they fed all the kids hamburgers for a dime apiece. So he uh, backs out after he closes the cafe, and, and bump, he runs over a cat. So it was a big old yellow and white striped cat, alley cat. And he picks up the cat, throws it in the back of his pickup. He decided he would just take that cat down the road and throw it out. So on the way, he got to thinking, what could I do with that cat? So he stopped, and he skinned that cat and put the skin in his hunting coat. When he arrived at the camp, of course, it was after the cocktail hour, apparently, and uh, they had this big stew of potatoes, onions, squirrel parts, and all that, and they're stirring it, and it had been cooking for a couple of hours, and Dave was the, the chef, you know, owning a hamburger joint. So he goes in there, and he tastes it and everything, and he said, well, there's not enough squirrels in here. How many squirrels do you get? Well, I've got eight. Well, you got nine. You lying, you devil. You you didn't get that many. I got more than you did, and I, I got six. Big argument started. Of course, it was lubricated a bit, as you know. He said, well, the only thing I know to settle this is to check the skins. Of course, Dave, on the way up there, had walked by the skin pile and threw the cat skin in there. So they went in there and count one, two, three, four, five. Uh, what, what, what is this? It holds that cat skin up by the tail. Who put this cat in a slum gullion? <laughs> Bob Jamison of Dayton is a hunter, fisherman, and book writer. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.